Today, we are going to use a force sensor with Arduino and the information I'm sharing with you, you will not find anywhere else. I've seen most people use just a 10 kilo ohm resistor with a force sensitive resistor. I'm not saying using a 10 kilo ohm resistor in series with FSR is wrong, but why only a 10 kilo ohm resistor? What happens if you use a resistor value that's either lower or higher than 10 kilo ohms? How do we make fluctuating reading stable? As you can see, even when I haven't applied any pressure on the sensor, there is still noise. So we will remove this noise on the hardware level and we will also completely eliminate false triggering on the software level. Besides that, in the end, we will build a highly reliable weight and pressure monitoring system where we will do calculations according to the sensing area. So without any further delay, let's get started. A force sensitive resistor, also known as a force sensor, or FSR for short is a type of simple and inexpensive transducer that converts mechanical forces such as weight, pressure, tension and compression into an electrical signal. You can find force sensors in many portable electronic devices including electronic drums where the FSRs detect how hard someone hits the drum pad and adjust the sound accordingly. They are also found in handheld gaming devices where the sensors can detect the pressure of your touch or button press. FSRs are used because they are small, flexible and can easily fit into portable gadgets. These are available in different shapes, sizes and ratings. If you need more accuracy then you should use FSRs with a circular sensing area. But if you need a larger sensing area and are okay with less accuracy then you should go for rectangular FSRs. This is called a force sensitive resistor FSR because it's simply a variable resistor and its resistance decreases as the applied force increases. The one I have is the FlexiForce A201 sensor. A201 FSRs are trimmable. You can cut the body of the sensor along these trimmed lines to make it smaller and then you can use a 3-pin male connector like this at the end to make it breadboard friendly. This particular type of the FSR is available in three force ranges. And let me tell you, these are just the approximate ranges. Anyway, with this particular force sensitive resistor, we can measure 0 to 100 pounds or 0 to 45.3592 kgs. This circular area is the sensing area of the sensor where we will apply the force or pressure and its diameter is 9.53 millimeters. For more technical stuff, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I have added a link to the article in the description below. When no force or pressure is applied, the resistance is infinite. But when we apply force, the resistance starts to decrease. The more force or pressure we apply, the more the resistance drops. To read this change in resistance, we are going to connect a 10 kilo ohm resistor in series. Since both are resistors and don't have any polarity, you can place the 10 kilo ohm resistor on either the right or left side of the FSR. Anyway, this makes a simple voltage divider circuit. And now to connect it to the Arduino, simply connect a wire from the middle of this voltage divider circuit to the Arduino analog pin A1. Connect the other leg of the FSR to the Arduino 5 volt and connect the other end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor to the Arduino ground. In this setup, the Arduino reads the voltage at pin A1. As pressure on the FSR increases, its resistance decreases, which changes the voltage at A1. The Arduino reads these changes as different values, allowing you to measure the force applied for the connections you can follow this circuit diagram. It's a basic program that reads data from a force sensitive resistor and converts it into a voltage value. FSR is connected to the analog pin A1. In the loop function, first we read the FSR and store the value in variable FSR data. Then we convert this into voltage and store the value in variable V out. And finally, we print the value on the serial monitor at 100 milliseconds delay. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this in action. The values are fluctuating a lot even though I haven't applied any force yet. But the sensor is working. When I apply a force, the value increases and when I release the force, the voltage value drops. Right now, there is a lot of noise in the signal which is causing these fluctuations. 
on the oscilloscope you can also see there is a lot of noise on the signal wire which is why the values were fluctuating even without applying the force you can clearly see the voltage levels on the oscilloscope to remove this noise let's add a 4.7 microfarad 50 volt capacitor I added the 4.7 microfarad capacitor in parallel with the 10 kilo ohm resistor which acts as a low pass filter for the connections you can follow this circuit diagram now the noise has completely disappeared when I press the four sensitive resistor I get a clean analog signal later in this video we will also implement a software filter anyways let's check the values again on the serial monitor after adding the capacitor you can see that the readings are no longer fluctuating if you don't want to use a capacitor you can also filter out the noise using a filter equation in the program I've already made a detailed video on software noise filtering now when I press on the force sensor the voltage goes up when I release it the voltage drops back to zero you can see that I have to apply quite a bit of force that's because I'm using a 10 kilo ohm resistor with the FSR now you have an idea of how to use a force sensitive resistor at a basic level next you need to decide whether you will be applying high or low pressure on the FSR if you want to sense very light pressure you will need to use a higher value resistor so there is more voltage drop across it but if you want to measure heavier forces you can stick with a 10 kilo ohm or even a lower value resistor to make it more sensitive I connected 10 resistors in series with the FSR you could also use a single 100 kilo ohm resistor if you want to make it extremely sensitive you could go up to a 500 kilo ohm resistor let's check the readings on the serial monitor the sensor is now much more sensitive earlier I had to apply more force but now it responds to even light pressure if you want to generate higher voltage with even less force you can use an even higher value resistor in series with the FSR anyway the force sensitive resistor is working well now let's use it to control a buzzer on this development board I already have this 5 volt buzzer which is connected to the Arduino digital pin D8 for the connections you can follow this circuit diagram I slightly modified the previous code I defined a pin for the buzzer next inside the setup function using the pin mode function I set it as output finally in the loop function I added a condition that is if the voltage increases above 0.5 volts turn on the buzzer else turn off the buzzer now let's move on to our final project where we will measure force weight and pressure this is the final circuit diagram I don't have a 20 kilo ohm resistor so that's why I connected a pair of 10 kilo ohm resistors in series with a force sensor this program breeds data from a force sensor connected to Arduino and calculates force in newtons weight in kgs and pressure in psi it also applies a filter for smooth readings and checks for stable values before sending it to the serial monitor we know sensing area of the force sensitive resistor is 9.53 millimeters first we convert this into inches then we find out the radius in inches and finally using the above values we find the area in square inches these are calibration coefficient values these two variables are used with the timer in the loop function first we read the force sensitive resistor and then we apply this filter equation to further smooth the signal this set of instructions is used to check if the pressure has changed and stays the same for one second recommended value is two to three seconds if you really don't want any kind of fast triggering after this we find force in newtons weight in kgs and pressure and psi finally we send the calculated values to the serial monitor i have these three known weights 2 kg 3 kg and 4 kg we will use the force sensitive resistor to measure these weights make sure that the weight 
force or pressure you are applying on the FSR is spread out evenly over the FSR's sensing area and as I mentioned before, force sensitive resistors generally provide approximate values rather than precise measurements. They are great for detecting changes in force, pressure or weight but their readings can fluctuate and they lack the accuracy and linearity needed for exact measurements. They are commonly used in applications where relative changes are more important than exact values such as sensing touch or detecting pressure variations. For exact weight or pressure measurements, it's better to use load cells or other more accurate sensors specifically designed for precise measurements. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.